In previous video, we discussed how we basically can look at indirect control and how we can design indirect control of electro-pneumatic circuits inside fluid seat. In this video, I'm going to show you two simple circuits in which we have direct control over pneumatic side and basically direct control over actuating. So the first circuit that I'm going to design is basically direct control of a single acting cylinder and then we modify the circuit with the use of a double acting cylinder. So the first thing that we need for designing this circuit is basically a single acting cylinder. So I'm bringing the single acting cylinder and then what we need is basically a supply element. So the compressed air supply, the air service unit, connecting these two. And the next component is directional control valve, which is configurable with three ports and two positions. So as you can see, we have that one here, just connecting all of them and putting the exhaust as well. So this circuit is ready, hitting OK. Now we have every single component ready. The next step is basically putting the actuation here. So for the actuation, we have to go to the configure valve and then we have to use piloted electrical actuation manual override so basically we need to have manual override it is possible to have no power no electrical power in this system so we need to have manual override for these type of cases and for the other side of the actuation i'm going to use again manual override and electrical actuation with pilot as you can see here and hit ok so the next step is putting the labels this is going to be called 0z and here we are going to have 1v1 and then here we are going to have 1a so as i said this is basically direct control which means we have a switch and that switch is connected to solenoid and whenever we turn on that switch the solenoid is going to be energized and that is going to be for both sides of actuations the advancing and the retraction side so we have the pneumatic circuit ready i'm going to bring uh, basically the electrical control side so one of them is going to be the power supply and then we have the zero electric voltage right extending the circuit a bit this line the power line basically and then the same thing for here so we can have difference of potential and basically the current afterwards so the power supply lines are ready we are going to put switches one push button this is going to be the first one and then the second one as you can see here and then we have to bring two solenoids connecting to these two components right so we have both of them this is going to be connected here and this is going to be connected here and then here connection as well what else we need here this is going to be the switch S1 this is going to be switch S2 here we would have 1 by 1 Then one by two, this side we are going to have one by one, and the other side we are going to have one by two H basically connected, right? Now we have the circuit ready. This is basically a circuit which is used for direct actuation, right? And here we have the directional control valve which is communicating with this 
electrical circuit and if we start this simulation you see we have the system ready for the operation this is a normally closed one basically the air cannot pass until it is electrically actuated right and how it can be electrically actuated it depends on this s1 if i turn on this s1 one by one is going to be actuated right energized and from there you're going to have this circuit shifted to the second position and air can pass through this line and gets inside here and we will have the uh, advancing process start so let's do that see we get to the fully advanced position because that was energized shifted to the second position near pathing right and now if i push s2 one y2 is going to be energized well and we have the retraction process right so let's do it again and the retraction process in there right so that is how basically this circuit operates so if we want to change it to uh, another circuit with basically a double acting cylinder, we don't need to change anything in the electrical side. The only thing that we need to change is basically changing the directional control valve and this uh, actuator. So let's do that. So I'm going to bring uh, the, and um, first I'm going to remove this actuator at the same time removing this component as well so the actuators we need to have a double acting cylinder right and then we need to bring the directional control valve with five ports so these two ports are going to be connected and for this side this is going to be exhaust basically head okay this side is going to be exhaust as well the terminator for us and then this line is going to be connected to this air service unit so we have to do the same thing in terms of configuration of this valve we are going to have piloted and then we are going to have electrical actuation manual override and same thing the other side electrical actuation and then spring returned oh sorry manual override and head okay right now if we start the simulation it is not going to work because it is not still connected here right we have to do those connections so double clicking on here choosing one by one for starting the advancing process and one by two for starting the retraction process hit ok now you see the circuit is ready the only thing is putting the labels this is going to be called one v one as we did for the previous circuit hit ok and here we are going to have the actuators called one a right and then hit ok if we start the simulation you see it's completely the same as the previous one and if i push this button right you see we have this one energized this is shifted to the second position air is passing here and then it reaches to the fully advanced position until we push this button right and the system is going to retract let's do it again so if i push s1 right what we have one y1 energized this is going to be actuated electrically and then we will be shifted to the second position air passing here right and pushing this piston towards fully advanced position we stop there we basically stay in that position until we push this button s2 and we have the retraction process and the system will be fully retract so that is how we basically use direct control and direct control of actuators with the use of electric circuit as you can see here so um, what we did in the la in this video and the previous video basically we covered the concept of indirect and direct control and we saw how we can design these types of circuits inside fluid sim and how we basically control actuators with the use of these two concepts.